Got to start with the quarterback play tonight. Did you assess it for us? Um, I can tell you that a lot better on Monday once I watched the film. Why the decision to go to Brandon in the first I just, I just felt like we needed a spark and wanted to try something new. You know, um, we'll see the same thing we can see with our offense, and it hasn't been going anywhere. And on the, uh, we'll see if we can create ourselves a spark and get going. Did you feel that spark? Uh, we, we did when he first got in. You know, and um, we felt it. He felt it on the sideline. He felt the energy that we was lacking on our sideline. And when he got in and made some plays, he felt that energy come back, and our guys started to make plays. Brent still have a long way to go. Uh, he had a great, when he first came in, a great drive, and then after that, he, he struggled. And he struggled because of lack of focus. You know, he just, uh, and that's been his problem. He's got to focus a lot more. You know, he throw the guy that he have no business for him to. And, and he know that. Again, it's just a lack of focus, and he's got to get better at that. Until he came in, the offense seemed to struggle again. Do you see some of the same problems as last week or some new ones arise? Well, we just wasn't physical today, uh, both sides of the ball. Navy just physically beat us both sides of the ball. We went physical up front. And, and uh, that was disappointing because I felt like our football team, especially offensively, we were going to be a lot more physical against them. We're 30 pounds heavier than those guys. And again, we didn't stick on block. And, and we just didn't win the physical battle. Bobby, did you sense a kind of a boost in energy when K1 or season one, uh, Brand, Brandon came into the game? Oh, uh, well, I didn't feel any different to Brandon start uh, completing the passes. Uh, force protection wise, I think we, we did all right. Force protection, and when Brandon came in, I think we only gave up like two sacks. So, Coach, what was the uh, hardest part about stopping Navy's triple option? Like, everything. I mean, those guys. I mean, you, you see it on film, and you, I think you take it for granted what you see on film. And when you see those guys in person, um, it's unbelievable. I mean, they do it. They do it top notch. I mean, I don't think it's anybody out there that do it better than those guys. I mean, it's full speed. Guys are chopping guys down, and uh, you can't simulate that. You can't simulate that in practice. And Navy was a lot better than what we thought on film. And I mean, I heard the coach say early in the week that they were a lot faster. And they showed it today. Then you were out there facing. I mean, what a what was it like you know, to go against them? I mean, it was an offense you, you know, obviously you've seen it on film, but you want to see it in a real game. I mean, was it that kind of a shock to to face it? Uh, well, it is a lot faster seeing it in person than in practice and on film. And we were in the right spots a lot of times. We just missed a lot of tackles and didn't bring them down when we were supposed to. Coach, do you think they, the defense started to adjust a little bit there in the second half? I mean, they weren't getting the gashes that they were getting in the first half. Well, I thought the guys were just playing their assignments. You know, and when our guys didn't play our assignments, then they got big runs. You know, um, some big runs. Or we were supposed to hit the blowback, and we didn't hit him. And if you look look at it, um, it's a lot of missed tackles. A lot of missed tackles. And we say in this game we can't miss tackles it's against, against a team like the ACS. And we missed a lot of them. Coach, would you call tonight kind of a step back after the positive momentum you built after the Kentucky game? Would you say tonight was kind of a step in the negative uh, direction? I don't see how you can say that we stepped back. Navy was a really good football team. You know, Navy's been eight consecutive bowl games, and UK has been to six or seven themselves. Um, two good football teams. Uh, it's two ball games. You know, they don't judge our football team on two ball games. Judge them on 12. And uh, that, was a, that was a really good football team we lost to the uh, I wouldn't say it was step back. I'd say we, we didn't capitalize on opportunities uh, when we had them. And we have to do that against a good football team at the end of the day. Our football team do not have that killer instinct. And we got to develop that in order to be a good football team. Coach, can you talk about the two touchdown passes that they threw and maybe what was called at that time? It seemed like the safety and corner were helping on run support and then they tossed over the top. Is well, that we're an aggressive football team and uh, our guys are too aggressive. You know, in our corners, I mean, they had got us a couple of times on the run and we got a little too aggressive and, and they got behind. They saw that themselves and uh, took advantage of it. You know, we, we should have been in a position with our corners to be in to be there, but again, uh, that's what that offense will do to you when they sit there and they, they run it and they get some good runs and you lose, again, you lose focus on what you're supposed to do and our guys did on those plays because of what they were doing in the run game. Hey, you went forward on fourth and goal. I think it was right before halftime and it didn't work out. What went wrong on that play? Uh, everything. <laughs> you know, got 
pass came free and the guy wasn't open there at the end. Uh, was trying to get our quarterback a run pass option and um, they had the right play call for it. Coach Antonio had a big game in the had a big game out in the return game. Well, what are your thoughts on his performance this season? Uh, Antonio's coming. He's getting healthy. Um, they're in training camp. He missed a lot of practice because of a hamstring. And, um, as the week went on this week, you've seen where he was starting to get back to his regular self. And um, you saw a little bit of that out there today. You know, uh, as he continues to get healthy, I think you'll see a lot more Antonio helping his football team. Bobby, uh, how disappointing was it as far as, you know, big crowd and uh, you guys suffer another home loss? Uh, how disappointing was that today? Well, it's very disappointing. I mean, we at home anyway. and supposed to win at home, especially uh, for the fans. Uh, they win, supposed to win to the fans. Well, all their support has been being with us, and uh, we haven't won again at home. And uh, so it's very disappointing. You know, the game's supposed to be for the fans. Coach, what was K1's reaction when you told him he was sitting? Uh, it, was, it was great. I mean, he was on the sideline uh, watching the defense, talking and saying, Coach, they're in this coverage. This will be a good play. Uh, he was talking to Brandon. And, like the rest of our guys, um, had his teammates back, and whatever I went with, he was before. Did he like it? I don't think. I'm sure he didn't like it, but there was nothing he can do. I guess uh, after uh, Doty threw the interception, I guess he came back out and was still in offense. I guess what, what made you want to keep? When Doty threw his interception, he Dowdy. Came, Dowdy, sorry. When he when he came back out, he uh, you know or he was still in the, in the in the game. I guess why did you leave him in instead of bringing K1? What was your uh, decision on that? Uh, game was there towards the end. I mean, it was pretty much out of reach. And Wanted to bring in there and get some reps. He didn't have any. He had a lot of reps. Wanted to keep him in there and get some reps. Is K1 still the starter? Uh, we'll evaluate that like we evaluate other position and, and see. He could be, could not. Once we see the film, we'll see. Anything else? I will say this, too. Uh, I want to say I appreciate our fans. Uh, that was a great crowd, and I really appreciate the ones that stayed there to the end and through the rain. Uh, our football team is going to get better. Like I said a minute ago, don't judge our football team on two games. Judges on 12. And uh, those are two pretty good football teams that we lost to. And our football team is going to get better. Thank you. Thank you, sir.